All right, hey guys. Uh, today I just wanted to show you a quick little uh, sneak peek at a dry room concept. Um, as dry rooms are becoming a lot more popular in terms of really dialing in um, all of the uh, all the abilities of the room to really finish the product to where it needs to be, because. Frankly, I mean, customers now, they have, there's a whole lot of product on the market, but um, all these brands, when you're creating your brand, they want to know that the consistency and quality in the product is the same every single time, no different than any other brands uh, like Starbucks and Nike and all the rest that um, everybody has come to know. And so uh, this market is no different. In this particular uh, dry room, this uh, dimension of this room is roughly 12 feet wide by 25 feet long. Um, this particular customer was looking to store an upwards of two to 400 dry pounds or have the ability to, um, if needed. And so, um, they've decided to go with the baker's rack. So we kind of did a little rendering up with the baker's racks. It's a pretty good idea of what a general baker's rack looks like, except that there's generally way more racks. So, um, here we have six or seven racks, um, uh, the traditional stainless steel baker's racks are running in upwards of 18. And so what we found is each rack can pretty much house about up to 20 pounds dry uh, product. The only thing we don't really like about them a whole lot is the density in which it's all packed. So if your product's pretty big, um, they're all going to be very tightly packed. And if you have a lot of uh, wet products sitting there, uh, that can certainly cause, you know, potential for molding. So Airflow management is going to be uh, the uh, of utmost importance, which is why we have chosen to go with our two-ton evolution. And so on our two-ton evolution, uh, it is a two-ton air conditioner and mass dehumidification unit. This particular unit has the ability to remove 180 pints per day. Uh, it is fully uh, dialed in for our you know, ability to be quick connect, so resealable plug and play fittings, um, both the refrigerant lines down here and our turn-in locks. One is for the outdoor condenser, which sends it the power signal as well as its sensor wire um, because all of our systems come with low ambient uh, controls. So no matter where you are geographically, our systems will run even in the harshest of winters. Uh, and then the other turn-in lock is designed for our thermostat slash mass uh, dehumidistat. Uh, you can also dial in your uh, particular controller if you have one that you're going with. Uh, we can certainly help with that. And then the white cap down here is our condensation drain. And so you can either reuse that water or put it to waste. We do uh, obviously uh, have the ability to add on um, uh, pumps. Um, in, in their condensation pumps, um, but that's totally up to you on how you want to deal with the uh, all the water we're going to be removing. Um, the real unique part about this, other than it being mass dehumidifier, is our airflow. And so uh, where traditionally you might get 1,000 CFM or so out of a two-ton air handler, uh, we're running uh, over 2,600 CFM. And so why this is so important is that you're going to have a lot more air turns uh, per day. This particular room is going to be turning over roughly every 45 seconds to 60 seconds, which gives us tremendous airflow. And that's very important when curing and drying product. Um, but that leads us to our next thing. So we have lots of air. With this setup, we're going to be densely packed. So what we've asked the customer is that they basically have about a foot off the wall around the entire perimeter of where this duct is going to be running. And the reason for that is, is this is fabric duct. Uh, it permeates two CFM around the entire um, surface area of the duct. So it's not going to condensate, drip or drop, do anything like that. Uh, it's machine washable, um, but it's also engineered specific. So we have laser cut holes on uh, at the six o'clock position. So directly pointing down around the entire perimeter. It's going to, with this air gap, it's basically an air channel that's going to allow the air to drop all the way down. And along its way, it's going to start making its way into each rack all the way down. The center duct here is a little bit different. Uh, it's fabric as well, um, but instead of it being our traditional um, laser cut holes, uh, these are a lot more micro in size. So they're a micro mesh hole. And so what it is going to allow us to do is it's going to give us the ability to move the air, the volume, the CFM, but it's not going to do it at a high velocity. So it's literally just going to slowly rain down uh, in this center portion. And so between the sides and the center, we have good even coverage. And to 
ensure that we get that top to bottom effect that is so critical, especially in, in a rack type situation, is we've done a custom return air plenum that you see that goes all the way down to the bottom, uh, all the way to the floor. And so this is going to cause all the airflow to drop right down and then return right back into that uh, return air, which is super, super, super important um, for what we're trying to do. Uh, you know, the standard rule of thumb is if we're looking to, say, have 20 pounds of dry product in the space, uh, which is sort of calculated based off your flower lights and how many, you know, pounds per light and that sort of thing um, you're looking at doing, we're going to get for every 20 pounds where there's going to be about 80 pounds roughly of water. And so once we know that water weight, we can then select the proper size system. For the most part, the two ton evolution um, sort of hits most of them unless you're going into a significantly oversized, you know, sea of green type application where, you know, you're, you're having, you know, 100,000 square foot open continuous space, then you might want to go up into, you know, something larger or multiples. But, you know, for all intents and purpose, most people are going to have controlled, you know, um, anywhere from 30 to sort of 100 light um, rooms so that they can easily manage and deal with that whole process. Um, the other unique thing that we sort of have going on here is the fact that over time um, with their, with their stainless steel racks is they're able to move around and, and do stuff as they, as they sort of please and change the configuration a bit. So this configuration works really well for the the movable racking, but maybe not so much for the stationary racking. And so if we're looking at stationary racking, we might be doing stuff like um, multiple lines along the wall of fabric duct for each sort of layer. We'll go into other videos down the road um, with the other concepts and other layouts that we've done for, for um, some of our other clients. But really this boils down to dialing in specific to your needs. And so we offer free uh, consulting and 3D room designs, so something like this to really um, get you what you're looking to get. Um, you can certainly check us out at www.excelairsystems.com uh, and uh, we'll go from there. Anyways, take care and we'll see you all soon.